cool. There we go. Hey, we're recording now. Great. All right. So, um, let's see. We're going in. We are making our new movie, and we have everything kind of how we want it now. Uh, so, what we're going to do now is actually start using our movie model. So let's do that. We are going to do import and then we want to get directly at the movie model that we're exporting from this file. So therefore I want to use my object structuring. So we're going to import movie from and this, this is going to come from our movie model, dot, dot, slash models, slash movie, dot JS. So now remember earlier, I said we have a couple ways of going about actually creating our movie. We can use this method here, so we can make a uh, new instance of our model, passing in the object that we want to create the model with. And then we could do instance.save, and that's going to actually save it in MongoDB. Or we can use model.create. Uh, we, in this instance, are going to use uh, this new syntax right here. So back in our controller, after we've manipulated all of our data in the way that we want to, I'm going to make a const of movie equals new movie. And then we're going to pass in rec.body because right now rec.body is exactly what we want it to be. So it looks just like uh, da, 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 something. Let me submit a form again. So it looks like this. So this is what's going to be put into our database. So this is going to put rec.body in our database. And then we are going to do movie.save. And then we have a callback function off of this. Function is going to bring in an error. And then in here, we're going to say if there is an error, to return and res.redirect. Slash movies slash new. That's my first option. This is if I have an error, then I'm going to return out of this function and this res.redirect. This return is important because otherwise this next line would also be read and we can't send our users two responses to a single request. So if we don't have an error, we're going to res.redirect to slash movies slash new. Uh, yes, Matt, that would totally fix that problem. Good catch. I like it. Let's do that. We're going to replace this with just this. Oh, we could change that into lecture as well. Hello. Much better. Love that. Okay, cool. So, uh, 
this should get us back to slash movie slash new after we've saved our movie in our database. So again, this is the first method that we have, and this should be creating entries in our database. Uh, and we are going to jump into that next, viewing that actual database information. So let's go back over here and let's actually submit this movie. So I'm going to add movie. And look at that, thanks to Matt, we have a beautiful cast list here, an array of cast members. And you can see here that I did indeed post to slash movies, and then I did this redirect to slash movies slash new. And that is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing my new page. It's an entirely new page. The form hasn't been filled out. There's nothing here yet. So now that we've done that, let's actually make sure that this got up to uh, MongoDB. And we're going to use the uh, uh, our Azure databases extension to do that. You can also go just straight into MongoDB Atlas if you want, and you can see all of your data up there as well. Uh, but our preferred method is going to be using Azure uh, because uh, essentially this is going to keep you in VS Code. You're not going to need to like have another browser window open with MongoDB there all the time. So doing this all within uh, your VS Code is totally the way to go. So click over here, or actually first before you do this, we need to actually get our connection string from our .env. So in your project, go into your .env. You're going to want to copy everything after the equal sign here. So nothing before, everything after. Uh, yeah, Ollie. Yeah, I got an error. Oh, OK, cool. Let's see what it you got. It says module not found. I'm trying to see what I can yeah. We had this error so many times, but I still can't figure it. You misspelt models up above. Oh, dang it. Okay, thank you. Use that autocomplete and that won't happen. <laughs> yeah. I too have an error. Yeah, let's see it. Syntax error now after I. Oh, fine. Uh, you need a, you have to invoke the new schema. So you need parentheses uh, around the object that you're passing in. So right after the word schema, you just need to open a set of parentheses. Uh, after, sorry, new schema. Right here. Yep, right there. And then. Um, Instead or of having the closing this. parentheses, yeah, the parentheses need to go around the object that you pass in. Perfect. There you go. Uh, and that's not... Uh, no. Line nine. Yep. There you go. Okay. Cool. All right. So, um, let's... Sorry, let me share my screen again. And we are going to uh, go to your .env file. And you're going to want to copy this entire string out of this file. So everything after the equal sign, that's what you want. You do not want the database underscore URL equals. Do not copy that. You only want everything starting with MongoDB plus SRV, blah, 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 all the way to the very end. So you're going to copy that, and then you're going to come over to Azure. Once you're in Azure, you're going to click on this little plug that's right up here. 
this attached database account. Make sure you're not signed in. You don't need to be signed in to do this. So we're going to click on the plug that's there. And then you're going to click on MongoDB to select a MongoDB dat DB database. And then you're going to paste in the string that you copied from your .env file. And you're going to hit enter. You're then going to expand out this attached database accounts you've got over here. And you should see your shard here. This is your database that you've set up. This is our movies database. And you can see inside of this, we have a movies collection. And inside of our movies collection, sorry, this is your shard. Then you have a movies database. Then you have a movies collection. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Then you have your actual documents in that collection. Uh, and is that the ID? This is the ID. Yes, it is. This is your document as it exists in MongoDB. Anybody not saying anything here? Yeah, I got nothing. Cool. Let me see your screen. So I've got, I've got this all running and I've, I've submitted, I just submitted the whole shebang and the whole nine yards, do it again, PG, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, add movie and it's showing up. Okay, cool. But I'm not yeah, sure why like I'm working. not getting anything underneath here. Refresh uh, the database. Refresh yep. the database? So you, the, in your databases, uh, up towards the top there, there's a little like circle with an arrow. Yep. Oh. There you go. Click on that. Never mind. There you go. All right, thank you. Now you're cool. Data is cute. Oh, it's there. Yeah. So you're anytime that you put something up there, it's grabbing a like whenever you first loaded that in, that's what it's grabbing. So you're going to need to refresh pretty often. So good to see that now. Uh Benjamin. Hey, I have a new error. Cool. Let's see it. It's in the controllers movies. Uh, you need to add in your file extension to your import. I bet. Scroll up for me. Uh, you sure do. There was... that is Find one. Oh, that's it? Yep, that's it. Cool. This is so amazing, right? We just created an object from a form that is saved into a database. Like whatever, if things are confusing right now, just know that you're doing great things right now. Like this is pretty <laughs> hot, like really, you know, living in the present. Cool, Scotty. Uh, can you do a quick push? I would love to, yeah, why not? Thank you. I don't think I've pushed all day. <laughs> so yeah, sure, I would love to do a push. Um... David, how many commits you got? I know, right? <laughs> David, when uh, you, would it change our .env file? No. It will not, no. Your .env file will remain untracked by Git through and through. So even if you pull down my code, your .env file should remain exactly the same. Uh, I am now pushed. You should be able to pull if you want to do that. Uh, Abdul. I'm getting, I'm getting now showing is undefined. Okay, cool. Could I see your screen? What am I missing? Uh, line eight, you uh, misspelled body the first time. Oh, I said boy. Okay. Right, uh, boy. Let's see the boy. <laughs> Wreck that boy. 
Or, I love it. Or, we had a student cool. that made a, a Backstreet Boys song with the Express controllers. So it's like, Rag that body. It's something like that. <laughs> you guys can come up with the song. That's too much. Yes, Benjamin. I'm still not um, having anything added to movies. Cool. Let's Run. see your screen. And we'll fix it. Yeah, this is empty. Uh, try refreshing for me. Yeah, that was it. Perfect. Very good. Cool. All right. So uh, let us move on. So right now, what you should be seeing is uh, your first movie in here. Does anyone not have a movie in their database? Cool. Congratulations, everyone. Uh, you're now actually connecting to databases and putting data in databases. Uh, it's going, it's all uphill from here or downhill, something. Things get good. <laughs> We're going Everyone's to do good harder, things that's together. That's the way it's going. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the like this is the, this is a good moment. As Shazad was saying earlier, um, we're actually building real applications now that are actually full stack. That are actually persisting data that we can view in a web browser. Things are happy and good. So, congratulations! You've built your first actual full stack application. You did it. Uh, now we need to actually view this data, though, to for this to really be useful. So let's do that next. Um, actually, you know what? No, let me talk about this real quick. Um, I'm actually going to go back and you know how I was saying like, hey, there's a lot of ways that we can go about doing this. You all are kind of not as familiar with this way, right? Because you've been using the last couple of days this uh, create. So I'm going to show you that as well. Feel free to like, if you have this working and you just want to watch, feel free to just watch. Uh, so I'm going to show you though, this movie.create. And let's look at a little bit of documentation while we do this. So in Mongoose, uh, we can read the docs. Uh, we are going to, oh, I need, this a little bit wider. Uh, so something you'll notice in here and probably one of my least favorite things about the Mongoose talks is like if you have this like half screen view, you don't see a sidebar. Um, make sure that you're seeing the sidebar so that you can actually see things. Um, so uh, this is also by far the most dense documentation that you all have had to use so far. Um, there is a lot in here. Um, there's a lot of little facets in here that you're going to be able to explore. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. This is, like I said, this is probably some of the densest and most confusing documentation that you've seen so far whenever we're actually using Mond Mongoose. Uh, but it does go into a lot of detail about pretty much everything that you can do. So one of the most confusing parts of this is figuring out what you're actually looking at in a given time. So again, whenever we're looking at this uppercase movie, whenever we're doing something on this in the mongoose documentation, that is directly correspondent to in this API section model. And what we are looking at right now is dot create everything that we've done, like in our to do DB, so far so over here we had find we had find by id we had create we had find by id and delete all of those things are all going to be inside of this uh api model section so just be aware of that as you're going through and doing this you also have access to uh the individual uh, document api as well uh, whenever you start writing queries we'll have this query API that you can interact with. There's a lot going on in this documentation, like I said. So uh, 
give yourself some time as you go through this. Uh, but we're going to focus on this model right now because that's what we are going to find create on. Cool. So what does this look like? Well, we have model.create. The item that I am going to be creating is on my movie model. So I'm going to be doing model or sorry, movie.create. And what I want to do is pass in the document. This is the document to insert into the database. So the document I want to put into my database is rec.body. Again, this mirrors what we did whenever we were creating in our to-do database. We passed in the da, 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 back over in our controller. Our create, there we go. We passed in rec.body. And then after that, we had a callback function. And this callback function First thing that we're going to get back here is our error. This is an error first callback function, and then we're getting back our individual movie. And then in here, this is where I'm going to do my ResDAR redirect. I could also do my error handling as part of this too. So uh, I'm going to assume that there's not going to be an error. Um, we could just console log that though, just for fun. Why not? Let's console log an error if we have it so that we can at least be aware that it exists. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is just like we're redirecting to slash movie slash new here, I'm going to do a res dot redirect to slash movies slash new. You're able to use this method or this method. And you'll see me use both of these methods as we move through the future, uh, the future work on these. There will be instances where it's really advantageous to use one of these over the other one. Um, usually you're only going to see that with uh, this format that we have down here. Sometimes this is really, really handy for us to use. We'll dive into that later. But uh, for now, just know, hey, this is going to work similarly to how this worked. Ryan, yes. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing something, but in the um, new save method of doing this, mm -hmm. at least like the first one we did, the if function, the if error, is just doing the same exact thing as the it no is, yes. if error. Okay. Correct. Usually you would want two different things there, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Right now we only have one page to redirect to. So eventually this would re this will redirect somewhere else, but we're not writing it that way for now. So all right. So like I said, you can do either way whenever you're going about this. I kind of recommend whatever you're starting out, I would probably stick with this way because you've been used to this so far. So we don't, you don't have much of a reason to stray from this at this point, but feel free to use whichever method you want. All right. Uh, next up. So in um, our find method that we have. Remember, we've been using dot find whenever we want to return all of something. Uh, you have the ability to use tons and tons and tons of different queries in here uh, to actually go about finding specific things. Most of the time, that's not what you're going to want to do, though. Uh, most of the time, whenever you use dot find, you're going to want to find everything. And to find everything, all you have to pass in here is an empty object, just like you've been doing all week long so far. We've been passing that empty object into our find function. 
The only difference is that you're going to be doing it on the movie model now instead of our fake to do database. So we are first going to take an, uh, let's do an eight minute break. Um, and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about what I want you all to work on together. So take that break. We'll see you at 20 after. David? Yes. Quick question. Uh, I'm just going to show you my screen if I can. Um, oh, the first way is not working for me. Oh, that's fun. Uh, okay, so this is the second way of doing it. This out. So when I whoops, create doesn't come back here. You need a closing bracket. Um, yeah, put it on uncommon 19, 26. Or yeah, uncommon 26. Oh, because it's grabbing it from a, okay. Got it, because it's inside this one. Yep, there you go, that should work. Got it, thank you. Totally.